I'm Ken Anderson with Profoam. Today I'm at Rutledge, Georgia at our manufacturing training facility. And I just wanted to go over something else that can happen with your uh, either Fusion AP gun or Fusion PC gun. Is that the trigger, when you pull the trigger, the, the mix chamber may start sliding back slower. It should snap back really pretty quick, back and forth. When you pull the trigger, release the trigger. But over time it can get slower or even stop. So something to look for in that case um, is, is really what's going on, what's happening. So the air, the compressed air from your compressor comes in here, goes through a, a little trigger pin or manifold is actually what it is. That's going to direct some of the air up to the front for your, your purge air. It's also going to have two small holes that go up to this air cylinder. One in front of the piston and one behind the piston. When the air goes in front of the piston, it pushes that backwards, pulls the mix chamber back, you could spray foam. You release the trigger, air goes up behind the piston, pushes it forward, pushes the mix chamber forward, stops the flow of chemicals. But the air on the opposite side of the piston has to exit the gun somewhere. It does that through the bottom of the gun right here. So that's that little puff of air that you'll hear when you either pull or release the trigger. Now, if you see that little, looks like a nut that's on there, it's got a hole in it. If I take that off, you can see that there's a little screen in there. And that screen just acts like a muffler. So this is just quieting down the air as it exits the gun. But if it becomes plugged, the air on the opposite side of the piston has nowhere to go. So that, that piston will stop moving and you won't be spraying any foam. If that happens, pull this out and try it again. If all of a sudden this gun starts working, it's just that that's clogged up. You can hold it up to the light and kind of look through it. It's just a little screen. Some guys actually just push that screen and pop it out, put it back in. I just take mine out, get me through the day, and then replace it later if I choose to. Uh, it's just quieting down the air as it exits the gun, but it can stop your gun up and you won't spray any foam when that happens. So just wanted to show you that little tip. Uh, again, Ken Anderson down in Rutledge, Georgia. Have a great day. Go spray some foam.